This tutorial is going to show you how to uh, insert your button into Canvas and then link it to a different part of your Canvas course. Uh, so in the previous video, we showed you how to create a button using a dub button factory and then download it. So once it's been downloaded onto your local machine, then you can obviously uh, insert it as a file or upload it as a file into your Canvas course. And the way you would do that you would come over here to your files tab and go ahead and click on files. Um, go ahead and save this first. Okay, I can so I'll save this first. I'm working on a page. I'll come back to that page here to show you how to insert the insert the button here in just a minute. But I'm going to go to my files, and then obviously you can see this upload button. In this case, I've already uploaded um, this particular button right here. We'll come back to that here in just a minute. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the page. So I just go on pages, view pages. Let me go back to the page that I was working on for you guys is how to earn, insert a button. And I'll show you how that we would accomplish inserting that button for module one and how to link it to module one. So I'm going to click in here in the rich text editor. Keep in mind anything you insert it is really important that the cursor is where you want it to be. So in this case, I want my cursor down because when I insert this image, that's where it's going to go. Okay, so I know that the button is in my file, so I showed it to you just a second ago. So now I'm going to come up here and insert this embed image or click on this embed image icon. So when I click on that, I can enter the URL or I can go to Canvas, which now the image is in Canvas. So I'm going to go ahead and click there. Okay, now in this case, it actually is in course files. It's under buttons and picks, and then it's under miscellaneous. And here it is right here. You can see button one module uh, one. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And I'm gonna scroll down, and then I'm just gonna hit update. Okay, so there's my button. So now I've inserted the button, but it really doesn't do anything. So if I save it, basically I've just inserted an image. Okay, you can see, can't do anything. I can click on it, nothing happens, no big deal. Okay, so if I go to edit, you wouldn't actually have to save it and do this. Um, but if I come over here, I can select it. You can see it turns blue. Now, if I want to link it to something else, I can come over here to this navigation pane on the right-hand side of the Rich Text Editor. And let's say that I want to link this to a module. So I can go to modules. You can see that I have different modules here, none of which are actually called module one. But these are the modules I have in this particular course. So let's say that uh, we'll do this module fun fall 2018 and I select this. Now I've just linked module one to this module fun fall 18. So all I've done is this is a website. Now I've linked this particular, if somebody were to click on this, it will take them to this particular module. And I'll show you how that will work. I'll go ahead and save it. Okay, so not save. So now if you say I hover over the button, now you can see it's active like a link. It goes from the arrow, my cursor goes from the arrow to now it gives me like the pointer finger and shows me that I can click on this particular module, which means it's linked. And even if I hover over it and leave it there, you can see what it's linked to. When I click on that, now it's going to take me to a different location inside of Canvas. You can see this is just like a, a make-believe type of thing, but this is where it took me right to the modules page in that particular module. So that is how you insert a button into Canvas and then link it to a different part of your Canvas course. Obviously, you can link any buttons to other pages, uh, to other resources, to assignments, to quizzes. Um, that's probably overkill in most cases. Uh, probably the best use is to just link it off of your homepage to other modules. Um, but if you wanted to be creative and, and put buttons on different pages and link them to various things, that is how you would accomplish that.